That was not the sign I expected to see you, Dan, missing. Is he, oh, I thought he was going to roll in, but he's not even in his chair. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, like, trying to get another ginger ale out of the fridge, and it was stuck, and I'm, like, fighting it, and I could hear the song playing. I'm like, oh, no, oh, no, I'm going to miss it. And then I just gave up. I was like, fine, I'm going to be late. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, hello, it's Thursday, and I am sick. <laughs> yep, me uh, too. Yeah, and Gabe's sick, apparently. But we didn't get each other sick. Meg's sick. The baby's sick. I'm not sick. (laughs) Yeah, I'm not sick. (laughs) Bottom row down here is doing great. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Keep your sickness up there. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on a minute. Ready? Oh, no. no. (laughs) Hey, Jacko. (laughs) Yeah, I, I I think Ash got it from one of those, like, play thing whatever you know like probably the ball pit or whatever and uh oh, just wait till he gets older it. dude the well, kids yeah, get I, sick all the time yeah. i was say like i hearing you you're like my kid's sick again my kid's sick i'm like oh my god like it's like every yeah. other week and then Pretty one gets much. sick and the other one gets sick and then you get sick and then they get well sick. one one gets sick and you make a huge effort to keep them separated but they end yeah. up get, getting sick anyway and you've spent all this effort trying to not let that yeah. happen. And then in with all of that going on, you get sick too. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. Yeah. It sucks. Well, like Ash started getting it. He's had it for about three days now. So a couple days ago he had it. And like, I was like, okay, maybe I'm not going to get it this time. Cause I didn't get it for a full two days. And then last night I was like, yeah, you know, like you start feeling just the tiniest tickle and you're like, mm. And Meg was, she's like saying the same thing. She's like, yeah, I don't know. We both woke up. We're like, oh, no. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. I, I tried to go to the shop and do some work today. Uh-huh. And like, I was like, it was one of those where like, I'm doing very, very little effort, but I'm winded and sweating profusely. <laughs> like, and I'm just yeah. like, this, <laughs> no, I'm like, this is not working. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm like, you're on tonight. I, I took I took a bunch of Dayquil and took a couple hour nap and that helped a lot. But I still don't. I mean, I still don't feel good, but I'm feeling better. So, uh, yeah, just not yeah. not feeling it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, how's everyone else though? Other than that, <laughs> no response. Yeah, okay. yeah. can't can't complain. Tired. Tired, ready to go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting, getting out at the right time, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, right. Before yeah. I'm just going over. Sets in. I, I should come over there and just start coughing at everyone. <laughs> there you go. Like, uh, uh, um, no, actually, um, people were asking about your car, Steven. So I think you should give us the, the update straight from the horse's mouth. That's right. The final update. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, I got the call uh, like two weeks ago. I'm probably going on three weeks ago that they had a cable for me and. Uh, to come on down and finish it up. And when I went into EAG to pick the cable up, they're like, we have a problem. And I'm like, okay, what's the problem? And they're like, your car is leaking oil severely. Uh. I'm like, okay, we think it's either a rear main seal or the transfer tube. And I'm like, all right, well, let's look at it. Look at it real quick. The transfer tube was dry, so it was a rear main seal. So maybe the bread method wasn't the right thing to do. <laughs> And honestly, who said, who said we shouldn't do the bread method? <laughs> I, I tell you the truth, honestly, <laughs> it was a mistake not to replace the rear main seal right off the bat. It's a fifty dollar part, and it yeah. took actually twenty extra minutes to do. And yeah. uh, you should just do it. Just that's what we well, learned. Well, there's, there's that's a tough one because there's mm. some theory that says if it ain't broke, don't screw with it. Right, and and that's what I was thinking, but. <sighs> Honestly, having to then rip the tranny out again to do the rear yep. main seal. I think, I, mean, we, I think in hindsight, yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna do the pilot bearing, you might as well do the rear main yeah. seal. Mm-hmm. So I mean, we did it in two days, basically. Um, had the tranny out in three hours and uh, put it back together. I know we don't have videos of it because you know lots were going on with the new property and stuff like that. But did you do cars, it at the new property? No, no. I actually oh. I did it at EAG. Mm. Um, Art was kind enough to let me use the lift over the weekend as long oh, as I was good. off the lift by Monday. And uh, I was. So uh, that got handled, and then we started adjusting it, and I started driving it. So the car has just under 1,400 miles on the new cables, uh, just over 1,500 miles on the conversion, and uh, the cables stopped stretching on me about at 1,000 miles. 
So the last 400 miles, I haven't had to touch it. You put on that how many miles since you? You've He's been, been driving Texas? the piss out of it. I've been driving the fifteen hundred. <laughs> yeah, I, I did fourteen hundred on these cables. So this in the last two yeah. weeks, I put fourteen hundred miles. Not even two weeks. I would say like a week yeah. and a half. The first week you were doing the. Oh yeah, first first week I was fixing it. <laughs> Must have been every day you were out drove, for a couple I hours. Drove, I drove the car and it's glorious. Yeah. Josh yeah. is a madman, <laughs> an epic epic driver. Nice, nice. Gabe, how's your car doing, by the way? It's good. It's good. It nice. it has everything's good. It's it's had a, a little issue sometimes getting into second twice, but um, that's only been the last two times I drove it. But it happens like once, and then it's fine. So was it cold yeah. when, when it would get? No, stuck? it was actually warm. It was like after some some hard driving, uh-huh. um, but not enough to to notice a theme. So keep an eye on it. But otherwise, it's great. Well, the good thing is it's super easy to adjust that if you need to. Yeah. We'll I see. actually think I could, would be able to talk you through it if yeah. it comes to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, I mean, or I'll, I'll have you on the, the hardest part is popping off the diffuser. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. On the 360, you have to take the whole bumper off. No, 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 no. no. Hmm. I don't rear think so. The rear panel. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, you're right. Wait. Oh. Oh, when, when I saw crashed, I thought you meant uh, really yeah, yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're proud of crashed a Porsche. Congrats! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know. I was like, you crashed a Porsche. Oh God. Uh, nice, funny. Two Ferrari sure got a lot of t- good. I love that. I love that. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. So, Ty- I- Tyler and I got to drive with Jocko on Coda. Yeah. Oh yeah. In the SF90. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And it was epic. I was so jealous to see that picture. <laughs> I, dude, I'm so glad I didn't. <laughs> i don't i don't like riding with other people when they're driving really really hard it just makes me un, you know like i'm un, unseated like i'm just uh. in in his words he was only doing eight tenths it's okay yeah, yeah, he told me that and i'm like you realize that's like 11 tenths yeah. for all of us he still work. burned an entire set of tires in three 20 minute sessions and a tank and a half of fuel and cook the rims again yeah, and cook the rims again yeah, really? yeah. jocko did, did you hear from him that's yeah have you found oh, he out did. whether he did he, he, they're good yeah, they're good. All okay. Right, awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah Jocko like? goes to me. I said, you know, because it's regular seatbelts, right? So I was like, wow, imagine if we had five point harnesses, how much more we could flip it around. He goes, yeah, imagine if I didn't care about the car. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yep. We're, uh, we're lined up, and Jocko looks over and he's like, you're the first person I've ever had in a car uh, on a track before. So <laughs> if you need me to stop, just say something. <laughs> Yeah. No. Wow. Five minute, Chuck. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I, I don't. It doesn't really Oof. bother me, but like when you're not driving, it's. Oh yeah, you don't have anything to hold on to. At least the SF90 has a little handle. It had a handle, even though we shouldn't have been holding it. Yeah. <laughs> what did he do? One seventy six on the back. Yeah, I hit one seventy six in the back. One fifty six on the front. Yeah. Yeah. It's up, up up to that breaking point, going up the hill, one fifty six. That's ridiculous. It, it's <laughs> like th- that. Road sure looks like it's disappearing. Oh, he's breaking now. <laughs> the crazy part is that car can probably get to like three quarters of the way up the hill. Oh yeah. So then you like the hard part about that is computing that you're breaking with gravity, but that it's losing gravity. Yeah. You yep. get real light real soon. Yeah. <laughs> at the top. And yeah. then he basically yeah. drove straight through the fucking S turns. <laughs> yeah. Just clipped every corner. It, yeah. it was yeah. glorious. It What's was awesome. you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's no a good thanks. time. No thanks. What other cars were uh, were you out there with? They had a, a Ford GT. They let go Ooh, on the track with the Ferrari group. Yeah. yeah, in the race group, they with the challenge cars. Nice. I mean, obviously, like a Ferrari customer. Obviously, must it must have been one of a VIP yeah. customer because they don't let anybody out. No, there the, those, those events are like one of the few that they just. It is a. I mean, I remember we were at one of the other ones, and they some guy showed up with his Lamborghini. They're like, nope. <laughs> Like, can't do it. Yep. Any of the uh, designed for the track anyway. <laughs> yeah. What about the FX cars? Those. Uh... There was challenge cars, but no FX cars. Okay. No, this wasn't. This is a smaller. Yeah. It's mm. like it's not like. It wasn't the... a Corsa Cliente. No, 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 it wasn't that. <laughs> That's some crazy shit. This this year was actually probably what only <laughs> like three quarters of what was last year. Yeah, it was really small. It was actually last very year. small. They lost money on this one. <laughs> Good job, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> Slow clap for that one. That's a lot. I mean, I'm impressed. Unless you're in Utah, and apparently it's all banned. 
Is it really? They blocked porn or blocked Pornhub block themselves in utah or some weird shit i don't want to go into it but it's a you know it's a funny thing to look at <laughs> yep yeah. oh yeah and jocko oh, yeah, got yeah. yelled at because we passed everyone, everyone in the field literally oh everyone. in no passing zone yeah what, were the, what was the passing uh no, 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 no. the rules he, he, it was people... point to pass okay but uh people were taking forever to pass to point to point and, yeah they were or just wouldn't aware. or like, wouldn't had their windows yeah. up like yeah. they're supposed to so basically he got scolded after every yeah. Every session, well, people, <laughs> people got a butt hurt. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. people not and, paying attention. Probably, and the Ferrari guys are like, honestly, this is not from us. We love that you're beating the shit out of the car. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We rolled in, and yeah. James walks up. He's like, "You beat the ever living shit out of that. I love it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's always good when you get to see a Ferrari getting used, how it was designed to get used, mm -hmm. instead yeah, of just you see that every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm and, telling you, I, my favorite event every year is the Ferrari Challenge. Yeah. Because it's just, it's some seriously good racing. It's all sorts of crazy cool cars. Like, especially when they have like the XX cars show up and, you know, they'll, they'll have some course of clientele show up with like actual old F1 cars mm -hmm. and crazy shit. And you're just yep. like, oh my God. Like, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It was good stuff. Uh, you know, just, even the other SF90s that should have been as fast, and Jocko flies up on them and flies right past them like they're, you know, an old Pinto. <laughs> it was good stuff. I loved it. Uh, Did you get really? any footage, Tyler? No, no, they wouldn't let us take any cameras uh, really? in the car. Not even GoPros. Like in the car? Yep. Unless Nothing. it was permanently attached to the frame, you couldn't have it. Wow. But they let passengers this year, which they didn't let last year. So yeah. it's weird. Okay. What the hell? What, are the word yes. cameras to go flying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They must have had I mean, some issue. I was thinking uh, some cameras probably fell off cars or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. It would have been fun to have some at least footage. that little like passenger screen was really useful though because I put up the huh. speedometer so then I could oh, see. Oh yeah, it. yeah. You're like I can see. Yeah, it was cool. So we we found how much did you say the difference was uh, with windows up and windows down? Uh, we hit. 165 of the windows down on the back straight putting the windows up is when we hit 176 so 11 miles an hour so we handled the windows so jocko could focus yeah because we <laughs> kept it down for the whole track but on the straight it was we'd bring it up nice <laughs> so we could probably could have hit 160 163 ish on the front straight with the windows but up you can't too. roll them up because they'll they'll see yeah. you then they'll see you so oh no get i have bad. <laughs> i put it up every oh, time well. So it, the best he made was 156. On the okay. Front. Well, I saw 155 in the front. So I wonder how much it's actually the wind resistance versus just you got a good lap. Could have been, but it might you, have been. you could have you could feel because we did the first couple heating the tires up with the windows down. You could feel the buffeting when you. Oh hit yeah, yeah. 150. No, when, like I mean, that speed, the wind is a. Yeah. It's amazing. It's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of resistance. Oh, that's awesome. When you drive with an actual race car driver, you realize how much you leave on the table. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I, I drove that track last yeah. year in my 430, and, and it was at night and day. I mean, like, I thought the Scud fucking put me to shame, and that was nothing compared to what Jocko did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's every time you go riding with a pro, you're like, like, I didn't know cars could do this. <laughs> right. Well, like, you just, you know, like, I, I love when amateurs like, oh, I'm pretty good, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, yeah you, you just don't get it. Like, <laughs> it's just not until you ride with a pro, you can't really explain it. It's, I mean, think about it. All they do is sit there and figure out how to go faster. That's their entire job. All like yep. every day of their life, their dedication <laughs> is how do I go faster? Like, yep. you just can't keep up with that. Yeah. Well, and when, when the car would get unsettled, you know, it happened once. And Jocko just quickly corrects and goes, oh, sorry. Like, just nonchalantly. <laughs> <laughs> like, any, anyone else at that speed would have been in the wall. But he's just, oh, oh, oh sorry about that. And we sorry. lost a little traction there. Yeah. <laughs> all four wheels traction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when the SF90s uh, all will drive sliding around corners, that's fun. That's awesome. It's, it's when you know that, you're pushing it. That's an unsettling <laughs> feeling when you slide all the drive cars. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the four. I, I love the four wheel push, 
where you just you've exceeded the limits of the tires it's just it's just you know it's just yep. not holding on anymore <laughs> yep oh yeah, yeah it's awesome man well that, that was cool uh, yeah it was cool to see Chaco down here it was cool cool to have you down here steven yeah it's too bad you both the stupid people live in the north yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, you live up there too now. Yep. Jeez, all these Jeez. cold weather folk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, are we going up to Jocko's? Are you got like you're going up, right? I'm going. Yeah. If we can figure out a weekend, I'll go. Okay. Because I haven't decided yet. I haven't talked to the wife about it. I think Meg wants. She said. She'll let me go, and then she'll go to visit her folks when they go to Santa Fe. Nice. So we'll just trade off taking care of the kiddo. That works. Yep. So I think I might do that. That'd be fun. It's a good time of year to be in Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. At least it's not that hot here yet, although it's getting there. Today was hot. but Today was hot. Not like last year, where it was just, oh, it's 115. Good luck. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, thankfully it's not crazy yet because we still don't have the building all set. Yet. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <clears throat> it's yeah, it's a sweat box right now. Have no, you uh, uh, split yet? No. Well, we haven't gotten the. They just started unloading all the materials to do the expansion today. Yeah, I saw some of the steel. Cool. Yep. So they're supposed to start working on that tomorrow, and we kind of really can't do anything until that happens. Then we can do the insulation. And then okay. we can do the floors, and Excellent. then we can put in the mini splits. Okay, I saw what you did with the grading; it looked pretty good. Oh pressure. yeah, yeah. I've got. Well, I was supposed to get it delivered on Friday. They bumped it to Tuesday. I'm getting 24 tons of gravel delivered. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want. I hope that's not going to damage the driveway when they pull in. They could dump it on the street if we need to. I would say have them dump it in the grass and we'll just use the tractor. Yeah. yeah. Mm. We don't want the driveway getting messed up. Yeah, first first truck in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've been thinking about that. Probably probably better to just have it dumped out in the street or whatever. But yeah. I was sad because they're supposed to deliver it tomorrow, which would have been perfect because the next three or four days in a row it's supposed to be raining. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's gonna turn all that dirt into mud. So then I need to wait probably at least a day for it to dry before I start dumping gravel on it. Oh well. Yeah. Actually, it might be better to do it in the mud because then it kind of dries and then it sets in. It's it's like concrete. Yeah, it's yeah. Like concrete. You're, you're gonna lose some of it though. <laughs> It'll push in It'll push and right into. Yeah, the that's true. That's true. true. Yeah. Uh, no interested parties on the mercy. I mean, there's been some interest, but no one's serious. Um, it's so annoying because people are like, like I hate, I hate the internet. <laughs> people, like people are like, oh, you guys aren't being honest. You didn't talk about the uh, hold the transmission tunnel or like making a big. Deal I love how it. everybody keeps bringing that up. I know they're like, oh my like, god, you're not a hold a transmission. So, so, so if it didn't have that, you'd you'd buy it, right? I'll, yeah, yeah. No, I, don't have, Suddenly, I don't have the money. <laughs> yeah, like we priced it. It's the cheapest Mercy, basically, that's in good condition with reasonable miles that's been maintained. Yeah, and it has an market. access panel now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's and that's why because it has a hole in the transmission tunnel. That's that's why it's so cheap. If the funny if it, thing is, a ton of them do. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, I'm willing to bet at least twenty percent of them have yeah. some sort of permanent modification to the to the car so yep oh well when's that going 20%. up on cars and bids or is it uh, uh we're kind of in a holding pattern right now yeah um, maybe we'll talk about it next week <clears throat> yeah we've got a a situation that prevents us from putting it on cars and bids for at least another day or two okay interesting <laughs> Uh, life. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of inventory, we have none. Yay. 
the hole was to make an adjustment so they didn't have to pull the whole engine and tranny out to make the adjustment. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's a there's a potentiometer in there that goes into the transmission tunnel. And and it's easier out. just to cut a hole there so you can pull it out rather than dropping the entire engine and transmission. So, I mean, they should have had it like that from the factory. Yeah. Right. And just put a grommet in there or, what, or something. Well, or and something. hilariously, there are other holes in that same area yeah. of the transmission tunnel for other purposes. Yeah. So it's not like yeah. it's like there wasn't. It's not like it's a solid piece, no matter what. It comes from the factory with holes, people. <laughs> it's like it's like but that hole structural, have, damn it. Yeah, right. it's like if you have a uh, Hoovy a did that hole. It's like if you have a stud that you're putting a Romex through and you drill yeah. a hole so you can run the wire through. It's not compromising the structural integrity of the stud. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing. It's not whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. It's annoying. Anyway, uh, yeah. So at the moment, we're like basically out of inventory <laughs> because we can't find any cars. So the whole point of the topic of this video, yeah, we, we, we've been looking, Josh and I look every single day. I, I spend at least an hour, sometimes two hours a day looking for cars. Yep. Hmm. Yep. And we share, like, it's, it's funny every night, like nine 30 at night, I'm late in bed and Josh is probably doing the same and we're texting each other <laughs> back and forth cars. What do you think of this one? Nope. Blah, blah, blah. What do you think of this one? Nope. nope. <laughs> every on. single night. It's like clockwork. And it's just, they're just, the problem is like, I think the prices are creeping up more. Mm. And so no one's selling anything cheap. My and, personal opinion on is it's like a melt up situation where I think the prices are trickling up slowly and I think they'll come back down. Not going to crash or anything, but they're going to come back down and level out. Well, I think the biggest problem is just, uh, the the supply is right. so low and that's what's causing it to melt up right so like there's just you look at how many like ferraris are on the market right now and there's just so few out there it is really thin it, like spe especially the good cars like the ones that really are desirable the 360 430 458 just hmm. don't exist i mean so when you did get one it sold when like an hour, right? That. Yeah, the last so, one yeah. I had sold in literally one hour. So is it like, a summer? Is it a summer thing too? Because it's driving season. I, I mean, maybe that could be it. So part of it, yeah. Yeah, it's pfft. yeah, it's crazy. What's the difference in buyers? Say thirty to eighty k, hundred to hundred fifty k, two hundred k plus. I mean, are you talking about like? how easy it is to deal with them and stuff i mean the 30 to 80k are the worst yeah the lower that number is the worse they are <laughs> honestly it's it sounds <laughs> terrible the the more expensive the car the easier they usually are to deal with mm -hmm. because it's not as big of a uh, deal to them you know so they has... they're educated they're edu very well educated and they know exactly what they're buying well so that was that's one of the most shocking things to me about the the lamborghini Ferrari divide mm -hmm is the number of uneducated Lamborghini buyers versus uneducated Ferrari buyers is astronomically higher on the Lamborghini side. Like the number of people who don't understand how to do financing and stuff and how it all works. Like, like the number of people who don't know that car dealerships don't have to provide financing. And like, it just it was shocking it's like what do you mean you don't do what do you like can i make payments and i'm like no <laughs> like you can talk to a bank well how does that work i'm like <laughs> it just really? shows you why everyone offers payments because no one shops anymore and they can <laughs> just take advantage of them with terrible rates i i mean maybe i need to get in the business of showing the horrible rates like Apparently. okay 38 percent interest cool yeah. <laughs> when, I worked, repo at, the car when I worked uh, at the car dealership I worked at a franchise car dealership in the late 2000s for a couple of years and we made more money on the financing than we did on the cars. Yep. Yeah. Mm. It was crazy how stupid people mm -hmm. were and how much, how they would just rip their heads off. <laughs> <laughs> he knows no. you well. <laughs> no, you would not. You would not have said that. Everybody send one. Yep. 
Lord. Give me something to burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they wanted the moon for that thing, though, if I remember correctly. Mm. The only thing is, I, I mean, 355s are a bit harder to sell right now than... I mean, I, I wouldn't refuse it for the right I think price. with the 355, I think there was all this hype about them and everybody got excited and it drove the prices up and then people are like, oh shit, I have to do an engine out service and it's 25, 30 grand. Belly oh, service. maybe I shouldn't have bought this car <laughs> after. I feel like and, yeah. they're overpriced. Well, it went up so fast that people didn't have time to figure that out, I think. Right. And now they are. And now they, it's I like, mean, okay. You're seeing the 355s <laughs> that are not exceptional you know, collectors quality cars selling for one hundred and seventy to two hundred thousand dollars. Holy shit! Because it's a gated car. And like the same car with the F one, will be a hundred thousand dollars. It's just like it makes no sense. I mean, because they made a lot. I mean, the the F one is rarer than the manual in the three five five. Right. And so. And the other Terrible. weird thing is, like, the 355 is the opposite of a lot most of these cars, where the Spider is actually worth less hmm. than yeah. the Coupe. The Coupe's worth more. The Coupe's worth more than the Targa, which is worth more than the Spider. What's crazy is when I bought my 360 in like 2016 ish, somewhere around there. Um, you could buy a 355 for like 20 grand less. Oh, and yeah. At the time, you could buy a 355 spider for like 40 grand oh yeah and you could buy a coupe for like 60 or 70 a very nice one yep wow. hmm. yep it's nuts. Is that because the um just the uh the cost of maintenance of the roof and stuff yeah. people want to avoid that yeah and they don't look as good in my it opinion terrible yeah. compared to the coupe yeah I mean, the coupe's really just does. such a timeless looking car and i mean that's why i prefer just a coupe. The look. is it the yeah. same with the 360 or the coupes do they go for more or the spiders are slightly <laughs> more Okay. Yeah. It's, it's much I think the closer. 360 Spider looks pretty. It looks okay. It looks okay compared to it's... a 355. It's not. I mean, yeah. it's way better than that. It's but... it's a substantially more reliable top, which doesn't say much because it's not very reliable. It's not reliable. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's yeah. better than the 355. Right, which is that's saying something about the three. I mean, you take yeah. all of the problems of the 355 and then you add on a horrible mm. top, and you're like, ooh, mm. yeah, <laughs> like no, but. <clears throat> yeah. No, it's it's crazy. I mean, think about that. That means that there are three five fives that are selling for as much as four five eights. Yeah, that's crazy. That's super crazy. That doesn't no. make any sense. That's, that's a big no here. Arguably, <laughs> they don't drive great. No. <laughs> it's Honestly, fun to it, drive and it sounds good, but they don't drive great and they're not comfortable. I yeah. actually like the driving experience in the 348 more than the 355 hmm. because it's it's like if you're going to go analog be analog right yeah and the 348 is 100% analog and the 355 has it's mostly analog but like my biggest complaint of the 355 is they threw in the power steering and they just like dialed the power steering up to 11 and so the steering wheel is just like super light and but it has still, a ridiculous gear ratio. So you're like it, turning it right. three times to still make got a the turn. Old gear ratio. So you have to turn that, like to go around a corner that's like a very sh like not sharp corner, you're turning the wheel like this far. You're like, <laughs> it's like driving a semi truck. You're like, what the hell? It's just weird. Daniel, I the 488 is much faster than the 458, especially oh, yeah. with the tune. And yeah. I don't think 488s will ever be under 200, for, unless it's like a super high mile or they are title done. or something. Actually, I think they're way undervalued right now. They're they're creeping up actually. Hmm. The yeah, the, the, the bottom was like a year ago. Yeah, I think you if you like, I love when people are like, "Oh, I'm waiting for them to come down." I'm waiting. It's like <laughs> too late. <laughs> don't wait. Just if you're gonna buy those cars, buy them. Don't wait because. There's, it's like you can time, never the, time the market. market. You can never yeah, time yeah. the market. Yeah. I think just yeah, find a deal was, and find a car you like and mm -hmm. buy it. That's was when the four five eight spiked, and you could find four eight eights cheaper. That was that. That was this. That was that was yeah. yeah. Every yeah. time the previous model crosses the price of the newer model, you start having to question things, right? Yeah. 
So like that's why we're in a weird place where the three five fives are worth more than three sixties and four thirties in many cases. Which I I mean like why yeah, other why? than purely aesthetics that purely aesthetics and sound that's the only reason you can possibly justify buying a three five five over a three sixty or four thirty. Mm-hmm. Which I get, yeah. which, you know, it is an emotional decision. Buying these cars is 100% yeah. emotional. So it actually makes sense that, yes, you would be willing mm-hmm. to pay that much for a 355. But yep. me personally, I like it. I don't like it to a tune of that much. <laughs> yeah, BB, the 488 actually sounds decent with a good exhaust on it. Oh, yeah. It's never going to be as good as the 458, but it's decent. It does with a, when it's straight piped and you drive it. <sighs> You can hear that Ferrari sound hiding in there. It's not like a 458, but you can hear it. You know it's a Ferrari, but it's got too much other stuff going on. It's muffled, even with mm. even straight piped. But it does still sound good. The F8 yeah. Casey is 100 grand plus over at 488. I don't think it's worth that much more if you're going to drive the car. I don't know. I mean, it does look a lot better. Yeah, I think it looks yeah, way the, the, better. Okay. It definitely it, looks better. Is it a hundred plus thousand dollars better though? Not for me. That, but... That's why I bought a McLaren instead of a four five eight. It was a hundred thousand dollars cheaper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's 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 a tough market right now for us, especially. I mean, like if you're if you're a seller, good for you. You're you're selling in the right market. Like you're gonna have. Well, I don't know though. Because there's so much crap, like so many crappy buyers out there. So maybe you are having a good time. <laughs> True. Yeah. Well, it's that's tough. not even a question. Everybody's going to pick a Pista over a tuned 488. Yeah. Yeah. I would rather have the Pista. I mean, the Pista looks incredible. Yeah. The Pista f- looks awesome. The, the Pista looks great. what the 48 should have looked like. Yes. Yeah. I completely yeah. agree. Like they should have just never done the F8, they should have just done the Pista. <laughs> and not done the 48 or f8 and then done something else because the pista looks so good in person i mean just yeah i think that's probably the best looking car Ferrari's made in the last decade yeah since since the 458 i'd agree yeah i'm gonna stick with that yep <laughs> i do like that rear uh quarter panel of the 296 like it's got that four GT vibe with the little. Yeah, so you I like that. Why. I think it gives off alpha vibes, and I don't like it. I can see that. Okay, I like the two nine six. My concern with that is just the same thing with the SF nineties. It's hybrid. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared. Oh, no, I I don't want to deal with the hybrid. I'm scared yeah. of it. Well, I, I think I, they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna retain value as well as a normal not non hybrid yeah. car. I'm really curious time. if. So like Jocko owns a Pista and the SF90. I'm wondering if the SF90 is going to be worth less than the Pista. Yes. In short order. Yeah. Mm. It will. I sure. think so. <laughs> I, I can tell you what Jocko said about driving them both. What? He likes the Pista better. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But it's got a lot better feedback. Yeah. It's, and, and it's not so heavy like in the corners. Yeah. Yeah, the SF90 was faster than his Pista on Coda, but there was it was nothing in the corners compared to it. it you could I could feel it in the passenger seat. Yeah, the weight, how much heavier the car was, yeah. and what it you know how much more work he had to put in to get well, it through it, the corners. When you're going at that fast at those levels, like, do you really give a crap about going just that little much bit faster? You know. Right. If you're no, Jocko, I mean, maybe you do, but yeah, yeah. wow, well, <laughs> none you know of us what? are Jocko, so. <laughs> I mean, sure. I, I don't want to speak for him, but I think Jocko would prefer a better lap time for the whole course than a, an extra mile per hour in the straightaways. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I think the Speciale Casey is going to be worth more than the Pista mm-hmm. 10 years from now. Well, first of all, they made fewer yeah. 4 for 8 Speciales than Pistas. They actually made a lot of Pistas. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a surprisingly common car for being a uh, special car. <laughs> yeah, I think that's because Ferrari realized how much they could make on those damn things. Yeah, they're making a killing <laughs> on those cars. Yeah, I mean, think about it. they stopped production of the 48s and still continued production of the Pista while they're yeah. making the F8. Wow, mm-hmm. they've never done that. 
they've never had cross models like that. Hmm. So that was definitely gotta, like some budgetary do some, decision. Yeah, I'm gonna do some math. I'm curious how much money they make on a on a pista. How much they've made? Because I know the Ferrari margins are like twenty percent. Oh, it's. I thought it was more than that. Yeah, I would assume more than that. I would have thought it's more uh, than that. I, maybe the, for the base model, twenty percent. But they then said once you they add say the it's options, between like yeah, between like eighteen and twenty four percent or something like okay. that. Yeah, the special and editions that are always oh, it's just bigger, bigger bucks. Yeah, but anything in options related is almost a hundred percent profit. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if, you have a high, are... if you have an, a, a high option car that almost doubled the price of MSRP, then your twenty percent just turned into sixty percent. <laughs> yeah. So is the Roma the redheaded stepchild? I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's kind of like the California where it's kind of like, it's just not talked about. It's just not really yeah. as mainstream loved, you know? Like, I actually think the Roma looks great, but I don't think it should have been a Ferrari. Yeah. I mean, it's, it looks it like, like an like, uh, F type to me. <laughs> it looks like, it looks 100%. like a Maserati kind of weird thing. Like it, Clearly has Maserati undertones to it, you know. The grill is horrible, <laughs> and the ass looks like an F type. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Casey's got one though, right? Yeah. That's, why, that's why he's defending yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> his is his is got a, his is a nice spec. It is. Yeah. It is. I'm I'm not saying it's even a bad car. I'm saying it's a great car. I'm just saying it's not really loved. You know, like it's it's just unfortunately it's not really loved. So I did the math. Ferrari has made. Roughly three hundred fifty million dollars on pistas alone. Jeez. Jesus, woo, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> yeah, gross profit. Yeah, yeah. Or in other terms, five two fifty GTOs. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm still selling it, but. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> There are a decent number of used Romas, and that's part of the problem, right? They're they're sitting there used. It, it's I don't know. There's also actually there's a boatload of Californias on the market right now. I've noticed that too. Yeah, nobody's buying those. No one's buying the Cali's. I would if you if you're looking to buy you Cali, selling them. No one's buying. If you're gonna go, buy, bet... you, actually, you want a great deal on a Ferrari right now? Go buy a Cali. I'd rather I don't have a Cali actually have than a problem. Roma. I don't yeah. actually have a problem with the California. I, don't have a problem with them and if you could buy one for 60 grand or 70 grand for a nice one that would be a great starter for our yeah, good luck finding it for 60 but <laughs> well i think i think they might get there uh they might yeah they're currently like the 80s and 90s for cheap ones mm -hmm. but even at a hundred thousand it's like yeah so hmm. uh yes Gable boy, want to sell your 360? You'll like to make money on it. <laughs> quick, quick flip. Yeah. Can you imagine? I, hey, dude, if you can make a bunch of money on it, do it. If no, comes, I don't think I'd make a bunch of money on it. I don't think you could replace that car, though, is the thing. Yeah. Yeah, like I'd have it, to buy one that needs a bunch of work and then have to put in 20, yeah. 30 grand into it, and it wouldn't even yeah. be manual. Yeah. So. It's true. No, no, no plans on selling it. I had to, uh, it was so nerve wracking. I finally got my garage spray foamed. Oh, and I, how was and I had, the, uh, I had to put the car in the driveway for two nights because mm. uh, <laughs> I don't have a storage and I, I had nowhere to bring it. I couldn't find a storage place. So I had to cover it up. I had to like block it in with the Miata and then my wife's car and like set up cameras. <laughs> it sucked. Yep. Not, I mean, I'm not in a bad area, but just like, you know, leaving it outside. I wasn't used to that, so. It survived. That's that's hard survived. for a brand new brand new car that you just got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I can, I can yeah. feel I that. Can I, would, that. I would have a hard time back in my early days. Nowadays, yeah. I'd be like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> It's insured. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully it hails. <laughs> <laughs> McLaren, Billy. Yeah. What? If you guys had to choose one supercar to buy, it's not a Ferrari Seven, Lamborghini. Oh. 720. Yeah, McLaren all day on that. Yeah, I mean, hmm. for sure. I Order of operations for me would be Ferrari, Lamborghini, McLaren. 
It's yeah, I would do I would do McLaren after Ferrari and Lambo would be last for me. I agree. It depends yeah. on the Lambo. I mean, Super G. <sighs> Yeah, I don't it's know. A tough a one 720 for me. versus I, a Super G. I'll take the 720 all day long. Yeah, I, I got my ass handed to me in the Lambo in Kentucky on that on that <laughs> yeah. rally. So oh, that that oh. thing, it's not about driving it that fast. No, it isn't. And that that's what that car is. It's an experience to take it out for a drive, and I love it, and it's great. But on that rally, I got my ass handed to me by yeah. fucking I'll, Porsches. I like this question right here. And McLarens. Mm. My <laughs> answer, my answer would be oh. gated 430 and 458. Yeah, mm. yeah, I would. Yep, I would probably. Uh, are we talking that. like value in the future, or are we talking about enjoyment of driving? Just let's say that you had to. I think pick the piece is going to be You worth have the more same money. amount of money in both, and money's not an object. Let's just yeah, it's the same. That. Well, I would take a gated four thirty over a four five eight any day, but a piece that would be a hard decision to make. Yeah, mm. really, you take a gated four thirty over a four five eight. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. Even Jocko hard... driving in my car was like, "Wow, this is faster than my four five eight. Uh, no, no, Casey, no, yeah. no. <laughs> no. That I is heard. awesome, Casey. But I feel like sacrilege to do that. Preserve to that. the thud. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, but the scud thud is worth it. I actually think that people that have gated their scuds. I don't um, know. A gated I, scud would be badass. <laughs> Oh, it, it, it absolutely is. would be badass, but I just <laughs> feel bad doing it to that can car. Have, can I have two of them, one gated and one? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Keep one for posterity. Oh, Dude, yeah. this, gut, this gut is just so good. I mean, it's. I've reconsidered that the Scud might be my favorite car I've ever, ever driven. <laughs> like, truly, it's just so good. I couldn't take a Scud over a 458, though, I don't yeah. think. I could. I could. Hmm. I I really like the Scud. I would because it's uh, it's it's more special. Yeah, that's it's true. Like the special. It's the it's the the feel of driving it. Like the Scud to me has all of the good things about Ferrari precision and driving ability and all that stuff combined with the excitement and like experience that you get out of like a Lamborghini. Mm. So like every time you drive it, it's an experience. You know, it is an ex- yeah, it's an experience. But it's but it's not an experience where it's like. It's an experience because it's terrible. It's an experience because it's so good. To make a mock scud, you would spend probably more than buying a scud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's almost no point. Because it's a special transmission and special tuning and then all the carbon it's fiber interior. It's got different ignition system. So like you you could make a, a mock scud, but it's not actually a mock scud. Like you can have yeah. the look of a scud, but it will never have the performance of the scud. So what about uh oh what are, the, what are they, the 16m how are those doing compared to a scud value so wise 16ms are up in value over okay. a regular scud but not as much as you would think right now okay especially considering yeah. how much more rare they are because there was one out there at the yeah, track was, thing yeah that's the first time i've ever oh, i never really? knew oh, they really? made the, oh, yeah. and he was, yeah, and he was one sure. of the guys that wasn't letting jocko pass yeah. uh. <laughs> <laughs> he was driving hard but he's I, not this statement right here Oh yeah, completely agree. Hmm. Like yep. the scuds, there are scuds that are in the mid two hundreds right now. Wow, it's just like, geez, that is a that is a lot of car. I've been believe me, I've been looking for scuds. I've made multiple offers on scuds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we just can't. You know. I really want to do a challenge Stradale. <sighs> yeah, I did too. Yeah. They're, hard, they're hard to find. They're super hard to find because they they, yeah. they made so few. I mean, of them. Get one for yourself, Josh, or for the dealership. No, I, no, I wish. <laughs> the dealership. They're, they're actually just uh, one went up on uh, Bring a Trailer today. That's mm. badass. If you have time, you should go check it out. It's dark nice. gray with a red and black interior. It's, it's they hit close to three hundred, right? Uh, no, I've seen them in the two hundreds. What's our thoughts on people that build their own supercars? For example, using a thousand horsepower crate motor and fitting it into a resto mat as opposed to just buying a new Ferrari from the showroom. Yeah, if that's what they want to do, good yeah. for them. That's cool. It's not the same thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of like the idea because you can be really, um, you can get away from a lot of the uh, extra computers and stuff like that. But the problem is when you start adding the numbers up, what you're going to spend to do that, you can buy some really nice cars and then. You'll never get that money back when you try to sell no. it, so it's not a good investment right. thing. 
right. but it, yeah, it would be a really be fun project and if you had money to burn and yeah if you're if you're doing it because that's something you want to do it makes sense yeah. right like like right. if you're just like i want to build a car i want to build some crazy thing cool then do it but i think if you're doing it because you're like oh i have a car that's better to fry or whatever it's like because the problem is like i have yet to see like a really well done rest that is capable in the same sense that a, a modern ferrari or whatever is you know like the like usually if you do one of those cars they're really good at one thing like it's like mm. oh this is really good at the drag strip where it's it really straight. good at the racetrack <laughs> right but to be able to go on the racetrack and the drag strip and take a date out and drive comfortably across the country and you know do all those other things just doesn't exist like you just you don't have the engineering prowess to do that on your own at home generally speaking and i'm gonna go probably just period <laughs> yeah yeah mm. yeah <clears throat> let's see here uh, if ferrari doesn't win an f1 championship for another 10 years no. will the price of fries go down no no i don't think people give a shit about no. the f1 most of the modern Ferrari buyers probably don't even watch F1. No. No. It's not it's not like the old days where it was like would at race day sell on Monday, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Cold. <laughs> so Steve, any, any trips planned with the uh or what what are your driving plans with the four thirty when you get back? I, I got a motorcycle trip as soon as I get home. I'll okay. be gone for um, a week and a half, and then um, uh, I'm doing another. They're doing another Kentucky rally, so I'm going to do that, and I think I'm going to take the Ferrari for that. Nice. And, and see how it performs. I'm not going to be in a position to get a car that actually can c keep up with the fastest guys there. So That's I'm going to just try to do the best I can. <laughs> there oh. were multiple groups, and, and the fastest yep. group they were insane. <laughs> Wasn't and, that? Uh... That wasn't Jay. That was um, uh, what's his name? Uh, David Lee's car, right? I think it was David Lee's Dino, mm -hmm. rest of odd. I'll have I to think. check that out. Yeah. <clears throat> Is there a driving experience tied to brands, or they all, all drive differently? I think there's some consistency across brands. Like, generally speaking, I think. McLarens are just kind of stupid fast. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler can confirm. Yeah, yes. it's just they're they're just and they're, they're there's no body flex either because they're can't yeah they're yeah super like, super rigid very super good steering chassis yeah yep. feel like a go kart. There's a and even within the McLaren brand, the difference in suspension between the accumulator cars and the non accumulator cars is yeah, pretty substantial. The sport versus the super series. Yeah pretty pretty big there um i think Lamborghini is super focused on looks over like form over function yeah. <laughs> like they they definitely punt on the drivability category to make something look cooler so they're they feel like an italian muscle car mm -hmm. like it's very much just raw in power but like straight line, they feel amazing. In a corner, they don't feel super great. They're heavy and kind of gangly. Mm. <laughs> and your visibility is ass. Terrible. Mm. Terrible. Yep. And then the Ferraris, I think you have kind of obviously the GT cars versus the sports cars. You know, and like the GT cars are super comfortable. And, you know, yet they still like it's like weird because you drive the front engine V12s and they feel squishy and soft, but they're still really able to handle, mm -hmm. which is like, you don't, it's like, how does it do that? Cause it doesn't feel right. And then the, you know, like the mid engine uh, V eights just are very precise, very nimble, agile cars with good visibility. Yep. It's very driver focused. Visibility is great. <clears throat> yeah. The Ferraris. Yep. Yep. Which brand can average can average driver drive best? Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> Porsche <yeah. laughs> probably followed by McLaren. Probably followed by McLaren. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with Computers that. Computers do a lot for you to McLaren. Yes. Yeah. 
You just step the gas and you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only problem is the McLaren <laughs> is so fast, so quick. I think it exceeds people's abilities really quick. That's true. Yeah. It can. Yeah. Like that's what they're assuming they're crashed. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Like you, you can out out exceed its braking abilities very quickly. <laughs> <clears throat> There's only so much that air wing can do. Yeah. Right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Of course, we've heard of Singer. Uh, I don't understand the question. Yeah. Singers are so like beyond what the, the person was talking about. You know, like you're talking million dollar cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not like you know, like building your own supercar by putting a thousand horsepower. And the Singer in. cars aren't that fast; they're just built really well. Yeah, hmm. yeah, they're, they're and, a niche, very niche market. Mm -hmm. I love, I love how there's this whole thing of right now. Everyone's like, "Fry will sue you," blah blah. blah. Like, Fry doesn't really sue that many people. They do send they a can. lot of cease and desist. <laughs> yeah, Freddie had a good joke in his video today. If you saw yeah. that on the P1. Clean up. Oh, what did he say? He got a letter from them. I didn't know. No, he, yeah. he took it to uh, McLaren, it to McLaren Orlando, Orlando and yeah. he was just joking with the tech. I was like, see, if I would have done this with a law Ferrari, I would have cease and desist, cease and desist by now. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't watched any of those videos. How is that going on the P1? Poorly. <laughs> Poorly? <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be Freddy. <laughs> I, yeah. The, the, more, the more he digs in, the more I'm just like, dude, how are you yeah. ever going to come out on top of this? Yeah, all, all the the drive computers, the outside computers were fine because they're water sealed, but everything inside is ruined. Everything. Yeah. Period. <laughs> so he he got, I won't spoil anything, but watch his video. He got quotes from McLaren to do yeah. stuff, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because I was trying to predict the prices before he would say it, you know? Yep. I got a couple of them really close, but oh, yeah. a couple of them I was so far off that you're just like, the doors blew me away and the wing blew me away. It was like the wing was what? Yeah, the clamshell. Yes. Well, How much was that, the wing? Uh, like I don't want to give it away. Yeah, I don't want to give it away. We'll we'll tell uh, you. In... I'm probably not going to watch the video anyway, so we'll tell you <laughs> afterwards. Oh yeah, yeah, private chat. There we go. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what's my favorite was the wheel. Oh yes. The wheel was reasonable. Yeah, it was super reasonable. <laughs> it's always <laughs> funny to have one one line item be like, "Oh, that's not bad." Yeah, <laughs> right, I got one of them. I got one of them dead on. What one was it? Uh, shit, what was the fifteen thousand dollar thing? Oh, um, and the other guy got it dead on too. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah, whatever it was. I forget. I, I was like, "Ah, oh, I bet that's fifteen grand." And he's like, "It's fifteen grand." I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> yeah, the brakes being super crazy like did he have to replace the calipers he's going to probably probably have, have to. to rebuild them at least yeah yeah i would think you could rebuild them we'll see yeah we'll see, we'll see. yeah good i i hope he gets it driving <sighs> yeah yeah oh is the headlights they, is oh he yes headlights is he having to replace the engine or can he get it rebuilt he thinks it might be able to be rebuilt yeah okay because it turned over by hand. But the subframe is corroded from electrolysis. That's the crazy oh, part. Shit. That the, yeah. the battery, the battery charged the entire car. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it caused the aluminum to be a, a wear piece basically with the water. Yeah. So, it was a so every yeah. every control module in the car needs to be replaced. No, some of them survived. Yeah, some of them survived. Oh, really? All, yeah. all the exterior ones, like all the drive the, computer yeah, issues and stuff. All the stuff in the engine bay survived because well, they're all locked out on that. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they're electrically fried. Which... Well, yeah, that's true. We don't know if they actually, the computers themselves are okay. The wires are okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's corroded on them. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, yes, it was. It was good to see you at the Italian Motor Gathering. I like that show. It's a chill show. What's that? The one in Bernie? Yeah, the one in Bernie. Yep. It's a long drive. It was over two hour drive, which two hours in the Mercy. <laughs> it's a commitment. <laughs> yeah, it was, especially because it got bumped from uh, last month to this month, so it was much hotter. Yeah. So. I mean, you're, actually, you're not sunburnt though, so you wore sunscreen. Oh, I put a ton of sun. I was slathered. I probably looked like a ghost. I had good old zinc shit out there, you know. 
There's all I, sorts they, of like <laughs> Instagram reels and stuff of you driving that car out now. And it's, it's funny when really? those come up. Yeah. Yep. Of Dan yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was the only Mercy there. You got you got the attention, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, it, dude, it's such a cool car. I love it. It is. <laughs> I love it, and I should I should hate that car, but I do. I love it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I need to. I actually got to drive that car. Uh, oh no! What day is? Uh, oh no! The rain. <laughs> the rain is coming. That car is not driving in the rain. Oh, <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh man, I have to probably back out. I was supposed what to do the sun- Sunshine Kids. Oh yeah. Oh, that's on uh, Wednesday, I think. Oh, is yeah. that a uh, charity event? This is the sixth, right? Yeah, we don't have any cars. You no, can take, take the BMW. Take the Huracan. <laughs> no. I'm taking that thing. God, the Huracan. Uh. <laughs> no, it's supposed to rain from now until Thursday. Oof. Well, from Saturday until Thursday. And there's no way I'm taking that car. No, that would be miserable. I mean, with especially with the two pay on. Are they going to be uh, real disappointed, those kids? <laughs> I mean, see, this gonna, is you're going to ruin this their day. Good, <laughs> this would be a good time to have the nefarious activity patrol cop car Tahoe that yes. people you could give people rides in. <laughs> <laughs> it would be pretty funny. Uh, long long story of the hurricane. Oh no. We got half an hour. Actually, I have an update on that, Dan. I didn't tell you earlier. Oh. Um, so I went to Lamborghini today and picked it up. And yes. I talked to the service advisor and my buddy that's a tech there and kind of hashed out like what's going on. And I talked to the previous owner. And so I figured out what the problem is. I'm just trying to figure out a solution for it. So basically, it's catless. Yep. And it has exhaust temperature sensors that go straight into the cats. Yep. And because the cats are not there it's overheating those sensors and destroying them. And that's oh. why the car is going into limp mode because it's pick, it's trying to get a signal from those sensors and the sensors are fried. So the short version is I'm working with the company that did the tune on it to see if they can tune out the EGT sensors. And if they can tune those out, the car is going to be perfect. Right. So I'm waiting to hear back from them. They're looking into it. <laughs> it's just all right absurd. so now the full story it's crazy that it happened right when you brought it there yeah for the inspection i mean i still think there's something fishy going on no it's not i mean that's what just... would they have to gain from that you know buddy just well nothing. They are nothing they gonna but they're not gonna fix it though right well they already got a bunch of money the the fix lamborghini wants to do is put factory cats on it mm-hmm. <laughs> And replace the sensors, which is probably yeah. like ten grand or something. Yeah. And I, he, he was like, "I didn't even write a quote for you because I know you're not going to do it." So no, <laughs> good. Not in a car we're losing yeah. our ass on. Yeah. So basically, the guy uh, that was going to buy it said he still wants it as long as we can figure out this issue. So I'm working to get that fixed <sighs> so we can get rid of it. Damn. What about sport cats for that car? It's a bitch. Is it? The engine has to come out to replace the cats. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, you would think so after you watch the oil change on that fucking car. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. So, yes, yes, generally in Texas, you can pass emissions if you tune out the rear cats. So, there. basically, when you, uh, the readiness monitors in a car have like your cats, your O2 sensors, your EVAP, and some other stuff. And they have to set readiness, and then once they've set readiness, they'll they'll pass inspection. So the tune just tells it that it's not um, not available, not available. And so the the state computer just looks over that. Yep. So yes, once it's tuned out, it'll still pass. Except yeah, they you're... repealed inspections in twenty twenty five. No, no, no. Safety. No? Oh, safety. safety. Oh, oh, they did. Man. And it's only for 2025 and newer cars. Oh, lame. Texas? 
Yeah. All right. Oh, that sucks. I know. I was like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What's the point? Jeez. Well, because it, it's still stupid. It is. I like. I'll honest to God, I'll probably sell both Meg's car and my car just to not have to take them to the damn. Like, here's Meg's car. Needing this stupid damn thing again. Yeah. I got like it. Yeah. Like, why do I have to go pay twenty whatever dollars for some tech who doesn't want to look over my car just to be like, okay, it passes. Yeah, and then you still have to pay the state another fifty for the inspection. It's like for I already paid for the inspection. Yeah. Seventy six dollars and twenty five cents. Yeah. Well, some like forty of that is another inspection fee if you look at the breakdown. It's like, <laughs> why am I paying this twice? Like, come on. I, I I recently learned that in Ohio, maybe other. Are oh, you right? No, it's eight dollars and twenty five cents. Oh, okay. It's only eight. Oh, still. You know, they don't require an inspection in Ohio. Well, you know, the inspection stations have to buy a specific computer that's like twenty grand to do the inspections. Jeez. How does, so that's where the yeah it doesn't it's make any money. The How whole they system is a scam. Money? Yeah, the whole thing is a scam because they can't make any money doing that. No. They don't make money on the inspection. They're hoping that they're going to make money on the fixes. <laughs> right. So they're yeah. trying to like find a reason yeah. for your car to not pass. They I I went to the ten one of those ten minute ones here in town for the McLaren and they were just like you can you? you can do the driving and and the whole safety inspection. <laughs> like yes I can. Thank you. I, yeah. <laughs> The, that that's my favorite is when they like I've actually had where they're like I took a Ferrari to like a whatever place and they didn't know how to put it in park. Oh god. Yeah. So I'm sitting, <laughs> sitting inside the building watching them and I see them oh, doing geez. this looking around in the car. <laughs> and they're fumbling around for like five minutes. So finally I just walk out there and like you can't put it in park and he's like, I don't know where the button is. I'm like, just turn off the key. He's like Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only thing the lady wanted to do was plug in the OBD, but she wouldn't unplug it. So I had to unplug it. I was like, "You already plugged it in." Like, yeah. What, what's the? Do deal? they think that there's some like secondary one that you're going to plug into that's going to trick it or something? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Dude, I, it's funny because they do, they do so much shady. Did all the techs know how to do shady crap there? So I went to one place and the Ferrari gas cap isn't standard yep and so you know they have to check for gas tank pressurization so they screw a cap onto your gas cap thing you're supposed to pressurize the tank to see if it holds pressure and so the dude could he didn't have an adapter for my car so he goes look away you know like what and he just takes the thing and he goes just shove his hand <laughs> over it <laughs> and he pushes the button and he's like it passed. Well, the, newer, the newer Ferraris don't even have a gas cap, so they yeah. can't test those, so they just plug it. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. their system doesn't have a way to test it. Yeah, it's exactly. Stupid. It's so stupid. And I had another guy one time, for some reason, something was up with my car. I don't remember what. Oh, the, one of the monitors wasn't reset. Mm. And I'm like, dude, I'm not going to go drive this thing another 50 miles just to get it to pass. And he's like, hold on a minute. And he literally walks over to his personal car he, he first first he plugs the obd thing into my car so it gets the vent and everything he unplugs it plugs it into his car <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. skins his car brings it back over plugs it back into mine he's like D -d 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 okay it passed that's amazing i'm like no like <laughs> come on man it's so stupid such a, and th like this is <sighs> every year yeah, Come on. every year is ridiculous. Yeah, I just got mine. I had to get mine inspected, and I have to go back in November because in New Hampshire it's your birth birth month. You have to get it re registered every. That's re that's yeah. stupid. It's really? so stupid. Stop with that. Unless it's within four months, the first time of your birth month, then you can wait until the following year. But like, uh, what does I your birth went... month have to do with your car? Uh, that, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so I definitely stupid. threw a twenty. <laughs> Good. That's like here you go. <laughs> Take it. No, I've got a, a guy I've got a guy that I use now that's pretty good that like he he's pretty quick like he just he's the only problem is he gets busy because mm. it, it's only one guy it's one guy in one little shop it's the same guy you know but like the good news is like I bring him you know I brought him the 720 and some other cars that we've had and he's just like oh sweet car yep bup, 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 bup. okay you're all set <laughs> But it's so stupid. I hate that. Yeah. 
<sighs> yeah. Yep. Birthday money and <laughs> registration. <laughs> unfortunately, I don't How care. How much is registration in New Hampshire, Gabe? Um, it costs me, I think, three hundred fifty bucks to register the Ferrari for year. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the make the uh, the year of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, I think newer newer cars are more expensive. Um, the year and maybe the mileage, huh. something else, one other factor. But at least the insurance isn't bad. How All much right. is that? Uh, like thirteen hundred a year. Oh, that's pretty oh, good. That's yeah. really just over a hundred. Just over a hundred a month. It was so easy. I, bad. I mean, I, that was one of the things. What company? One of the, USA. Oh, when nice. I was like on Saturday when I was in Austin with you guys, like the day after I, I test drove it, I just called them and they happened to like be able to add it, no problem. I was like, okay. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Another door that's opening. The that's nice thing about what the nice thing about is, USA like, is treat it is they treat it like a normal car, so they don't have mm -hmm. like the mileage restrictions and weird yeah. shit on it. Mm -hmm. State Farm yeah, does that too. Yeah, there were no issues. Yeah, I hate like that's the only thing like Haggerty's good, but like I hate when they're like, you can only drive it, you know, so many miles, and it can only be used for these purposes, and hmm. like all these weird things, and it's just like oh, I don't want to have to remember all this crap. I want to just be able to drive. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. Comprehensive. Oh, weird thing is not updating. Oh, there it goes. Okay. What were you saying on Pennsylvania? I was just saying uh, in resident um, rural parts of Pennsylvania, you don't have to do the emissions. So all I have to do is mm. a uh, safety inspection. And then, yeah, it's like 35 bucks. It's very but safe. you still got to get it inspected every year. Every year you have to do. And I, and I have a good mechanic that, you know, knows my stuff is good. And That's good. He well, we only pay more. like 53 bucks in Texas a year. It doesn't matter what car it is. It's no, 76. 76. 76. I haven't paid registration on a car in so long. I don't even know. <laughs> you, you're still just using dealer stuff. Yeah, I mean, why HGT. would I not? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Does the did the you no be plate doing the same thing? Yeah. Did the no paper plate thing pass? Like, how does that affect you guys? Oh, I don't know if it passed, but I did see that they're doing something about it. I don't know how they're gonna how that's gonna work. I yeah. guess they can do what California does. And they give the dealer metal plates, and when if someone buys a car, you issue the metal plates to them on the spot. Oh wow! And then you enter it in the computer, and it registers it. I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be easier. Well, they don't have to go around with tax office for plates every time. It's annoying. But then, if you have an out-of-state buyer, it's a huge pain in the butt, right? Um, but an out-of-state buyer is driving it out of state, so it's like. It's but in California, well, I guess you wouldn't. You. Like, you I would can't guess drive you it. wouldn't. Really? Yeah. You wouldn't give them. Texas plates here. I, I don't know what would happen. That's a good question. Yeah, because because when I was looking at that four five eight in San Jose, they were like, "Well, you'd have to trailer it out. You can't drive it. You'd have to go pay California to register the car for a week to be able to drive it out of the state." <laughs> or I, I like, could just you... drive it with no license plate. Yeah, I was like, "Or you can just give me the damn car to pay for and not worry about it, <laughs> and I'll put my own plate on it." <laughs> yeah, they'll let me do what I want. Yeah. Uh, yeah, speaking... I mean anybody anybody that's not. Anybody that has to deal with like high registration or inspections or whatever that's not a dealer, the Michigan route is the best way to Montana. go. Montana, in my opinion, or Montana. Montana sorry, yeah. No, that's and you. It's funny because like you wonder why people do it. It's like, <laughs> well, when you make the system stupid and painful, people are gonna find a way around the system. Yeah. You know, like I, I look like I don't care about the seventy six dollars that they want me to pay to register my wife's car. What I care about is the two hours lost on a weekday yeah. because mm -hmm. they're never open on the weekend. So it's like, it, yep. what am I supposed to do? Like, So either I'm going to take off, time off from my busy day mm -hmm. or Meg's going to take time off from her busy day. And she's going to go there with her, <laughs> yep. you know, like it's so stupid. pay somebody 20 bucks to look over the car yeah. and <laughs> for, yeah. for them to look over the car for two minutes and go, okay, it passes. Yeah. Like it's a two year old car. Yep. It's fine. <laughs> Stupid. It's complete waste of time and money. Whatever. Yep. That's too every bad. Time, I, I thought... Every time they failed the cars, it's something stupid. Like, one time they failed the car because the tint was too dark. <laughs> and so we just literally took it to another one down the street. They're like, okay, it's fine. God. <laughs> so it's just like, it's... You know, the, the inspection station, I just know this because I've 
been through it, but um, they actually send in out undercover uh, state officers to do inspections to make sure they're doing it right. Yeah. And I was at I was doing an inspection once, and the guy that was doing my inspection was like, "Dude, look across the street over there." This was at, on six twenty in Round Rock. There was a dude over there with binoculars, looking. <laughs> no way. Yeah. So he's like, I got to pop the hood and check everything because he's, <laughs> he's watching me. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Us as taxpayers are paying that guy to do that. Uh, it's yep. just ridiculous. <laughs> wow. And then, you know, like, here they are, like, trying to enforce all this crap. And then you see so many cars out there that are blatantly not safe. Yeah. yeah and they yes. don't do anything about it. And they don't do anything about those. It's like, yep. like how do you guys spend your effort on that? Yeah. Well, oh, I guess Colorado is so crazy that people just aren't renewing their tax. They just drive around expired plates for years. Because it, it's yeah. like $1,600 for a cheap, shitty Honda Accord a year. <laughs> I, know, I knew about the Oregon loophole because yeah. they don't have sales tax in Oregon. Oh, yeah. I guess, yeah. yeah, if you're um, in Northern so California. Or, I guess Northern California and Oregon plate is not a red flag. So that would be that's a good idea. California is the worst. I, can I just say yeah. I hate California? <laughs> like oh, I like the I like the I like it, but I don't like the government. Yeah, um, no, I don't even like about it. the government and, and the people there. There is there is there. really almost nothing redeeming about that state. One can one country. Know, San Diego is pretty cool. No, yeah, San Diego is cool. They make Northern wine, California is cool. No, still that worth it. It's not Italian wine. Monterey, no. yeah. cool. Yeah. Car week's cool, but I, every time I go there for car week, I'm like, yeah, I could never live here. Uh, well, yeah, thirty dollars for eggs and pancakes in the morning. Yeah. Well, it's even more than the cost. Like, just you realize that I've had to pay California state taxes, even though I'm a non-resident. Really? Because uh, when I worked for Modernized, I was when I left, I became an owner in the company. Oh. Yeah. And they did more than some percentage of whatever business in their state. And so California would send me, or, you know, I had to file state taxes for the portion of income I made from that company in California. Yep. The amount of paperwork it takes to figure that out is a lot. And so much so that, like, when I sold my position, when I finally, when Modernized got acquired, they came after me for the taxes for that, for that portion, which ended up being like, I owed them like a couple hundred bucks, but I actually got a like Nastagram from California this year. For and if you don't happen, pay it, what are they going to do? Like you if, don't I go to, there. if I'm in California, they, they, well, they can garnish my wages. Yeah. Not if you pay yourself. Not if you work for yourself. How are they going to do that? Well, but they can take it to like a, I don't know. It's just, for them. Let them do whatever they want. Fuck them. I just, I just hate that. It's so stupid. Like if you. They'll spend, they'll spend 10 grand trying to go after you for 500 bucks. Yep. That's how yeah, California exactly. works. That sums they don't everything care. up there. <laughs> yeah. They don't care. Because yeah. yeah. they're keeping people employed. <laughs> uh, Something like that. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. Yeah, this is why I hate California. And why I mean, New York's the same, or is it New Jersey or New York's the same way? Where if you they'll come after you, you work there for a day, they'll come after you for that day's worth of tax. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, that's the other thing. Like technically, if you spend time in California for work, you're supposed to pay California state taxes. Yeah, it's uh, obviously super difficult to prove. Oh, well, I was just but, there last week. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. for, shut for for pleasure. Yeah. For pleasure. <laughs> for for pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know why I clicked. I was clicking on this one here because I did read about this the other day. That oh. anytime he played a game in California, he got taxed on whatever money he made for that game based on what his salary. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like, actually it's stupid. really really difficult for for sports people because <laughs> we play in all these different states, and so all the different states now are trying to like come after them. Wow. Oh. It's just like how I don't. That's so stupid. It's like I, I don't live there. Like I don't live. I live in Texas yeah. for a reason. And one of the <laughs> yeah. reasons is because of taxes. Like I chose that. I left Michigan because I was well because jobs suck there, and you know Michigan. And, you know, sorry, Jocko, but you know. 
<laughs> it's great in July and August. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, come on. Oh, dude. Yeah, the franchise tax board. So mm. stupid. The Gestapo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I'm not like saying I'm, not, I, I'm all for taxes doing certain things, but like when you don't live in the state, you shouldn't have to pay taxes to that state. Yeah, I agree with that. That's just ridiculous. Taxation without representation. I mean, that's really what it is because I have no vote, no nothing in that situation. I am 100% being taxed without any representation. Yep. Because it's it's being taxed through a corporation. Which is like, so the corporation, which is not incorporated in, in California, it's incorporated in, I don't, I don't know, maybe it was Delaware. Delaware. <laughs> Probably Delaware, but it was, <laughs> I think it was actually a Texas company, but it might have been Delaware. <laughs> That's the other stupid thing. They're like, all Delaware. Yeah. I know. It's, it's what like what is it about Montana Delaware? Business. The, the Dela Delaware uh, corporation taxes and their requirements are stupid low. Yep. Oh, okay. It's just it's the same thing with Montana and cars. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's like idea. it's like the so it's actually Nevada and Delaware now mm -hmm. for corporations. It depends what type of corporation and whatever. I I'm a goody two shoes. All my corporations are actually formed in Texas because I live here. Mm -hmm. I operate out of here. Mm -hmm. Even though I believe me it was like I should do <laughs> Delaware, but I decided not to. <sighs> so stupid hmm. yeah anyway sorry didn't mean to shit on everyone in california but <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh i like God. the i like the ch uh, the comments in the chat though some interesting yeah. stuff so. this right here has got to be amazingly oh, difficult i think you go to any big city that leans left is going to be terrible when it comes to that yeah, the bureaucratic crap you got to go through to get anything done. What? I had to pay an Indian tribe five k to come to my property and dig for artifacts. <laughs> Did they find it? <laughs> you had to pay them. That's yeah, it, mm. I've heard stuff like that before. That's weird. Why wouldn't they pay you they to didn't find your anything. property? Because if they found something, it'd be even worse. Yeah. Oh, dude, if they find anything, you're screwed. Yeah, you're not building your house. <laughs> That's uh, there was a joke when we were talking to when we were in Italy. We were talking to um, some of the you know the locals in Rome, and they're like, "Yeah, the problem with building anything in Rome is every time you know, like Rome has gone up, like literally physically raised because of all the floods and whatever over the past, you know." 20,000 years or whatever, where it's everything's stacked on top of each other. So anytime you have to dig into the ground, you almost inevitably find some sort of Roman ar artifact, right? And so, like, you're forbidden to, like, just dig it up. And so, like, all the people just kind of go, whoops. <laughs> 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 like, quick, bring in the big excavator. You know, dig, yeah. dig, dig, dig. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, want to screw over your neighbors in California? And bury some chicken bones in their backyard. Yes. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that just sounds mean. And then call the police and say, "I don't know what's going on. They were like digging around, and I saw a bone over there. I don't know what's going on." <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, yeah. <clears throat> this is what happens when we don't have any cars, right? <laughs> If we talk about that. Yeah. California, <laughs> like we we have we have a BMW and a motorcycle. Got to do something with that. Oh yeah, <laughs> Drive. is that it? That's all we have, right? The Mercy, yeah. the Huracan, pending. The BMW, oh the Mustang. Oh yeah, you can take the Mustang for your Sunshine Kids. <laughs> uh, not if it's raining. Do not some sick burnouts. Yeah. <laughs> not in those tires. Yeah, that's kind of it. Yeah. Man. Uh... Oh, yeah. 
I bet your husband Jeff has to deal with uh, oh yeah all sorts of fun stuff, man. <sighs> Better to play it slow than be dishonest. Yeah, seriously, right now. I like, mean, we could go buy a bunch of cars that need a bunch of stuff and try to sell them. Yeah, <laughs> we're not we're not doing that. Or we could buy a bunch of cars and try and like make almost you know no money on them because they're all priced too high. Oh sweet. <laughs> what do we make? Something? What do we Whoa. sell? Oh shit! What was that? <laughs> yeah, that's uh -oh. that's all. You sell a Klein? Just had an exhaust. I, 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 <laughs> I had to pick up the last that. nine minutes. It was five figure order. Ooh. Yeah, that's gotta be exhaust. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a hundred thousand oh, fire extinguishers. So it's, so I need to get some fire extinguishers. Oh, so it's it's a, uh, IP four five eight titanium exhaust. Ooh. IP. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Someone's gonna be very happy. Someone needs to buy earplugs now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still have cat deletes. Dude, they're gonna be. This is gonna be a badass setup right here. Nice. <laughs> Nice. That was and a good. tune. And I wonder tune. if it's a viewer. I don't know, but whoever it is, they're gonna have a happy sounding car. <laughs> you have IP, pop, right? Pops and Gabe? pops and bangs tune. No, it's just it's stock with a tubey muffler. Mm. Nice. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. I was I was getting happy when I was me. Oh, I'm thinking beyond, Daniel. Beyond I'm sorry. Making a little money on those things. Every time I see someone order like a proper exhaust on their car, I'm like, Yeah, oh. we're like, hell yeah. You're like, yeah, someone's going to really love their car. <laughs> like, this person's going to be bad, you know, like, thinking it's a badass car. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's awesome. I'm into yeah. watches, and so is Steve a little bit. A little bit. Dan yeah. hates watches. A little. Josh Dave, is getting me into Gabriel, watches. I'm, I'm no, trying to get Steve no. more into watches. <laughs> I'm not a watch. I have nothing against them. I can appreciate them, but I'm okay. not. I, I don't like physically wearing a watch. Mm. Uh, oh, okay. So okay. they're cool, but I, I don't like watches. <sighs> they're stupid. I, I really like the idea of the <laughs> Rolex for your birth year. For your birth like, year. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. I might have to get into that. Have to do that. Hell yeah, dude. Let me know when you need help with that. Yeah. I have a feeling like that would cost a lot of money. What's, what is what is I, the uh, the scheme there? Uh, you basically, uh, it, if a lot of watch collectors like to buy they call it a birth year watch so you buy a watch that was made the year you were born and they you know okay. depending on when you were born they have cool vintage watches that you yeah, can get just yeah. perked up that's cool <laughs> okay. casey's the yeah. king of watches yeah. We Fred's were in a watch background watch, yeah. tab. He was watching Pornhub again, and he. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? new videos are uploading. <laughs> Hold on, gotta clean off my hands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, a, a quick Google search. It was anywhere from eight thousand dollars for a broken one to eighty-six thousand dollars for. A... Oh. Yeah. I mean. That was you a quick search. Same, you're about the same age as me, Tyler. You could get yeah. a nice watch for like 10k. Yeah, that, that's what I was looking at, basically. Yeah. Like, man, Christmas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Dan, you, Dan, you're shaking your head, but that watch will never lose value. It'll probably only oh, go up over time. Bullshit. No. A hundred percent. No. 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 Because everyone's been, everyone's been saying that. And the watch market took a crap this last year. Well, yeah, the watch market did not. It it went up it and down up. just like cars did. Like exactly. Like five eight. Cars did. Saying you're never gonna lose money on the watch is stupid because it well, if you if you bought it at the top, yeah, you've lost money. But if you bought a car at the top, you lost. If you bought a house at the top, you lost money. Anything. I would have a lot more confidence that a house is eventually going to be worth a lot more than a watch. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a it's a different level of investment too. Like yeah, because you're right. not the same. In some cases, uh, show me a house that's ten grand. I'll yeah, buy all of them. Well, I'm, not looking, <laughs> yeah. I'm not looking at a million dollar watch here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's watches that are hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah, I'm still not looking at that watch. I'd rather yeah. buy a car than that. But. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I know. I mean, I'm not here's, advocating here's the other buy a hundred thousand like, dollar watch. You have to do it. It's another thing to do a ton of research and learn a lot about whatever. And but you I have to you have to be into horology to and you right. have to really appreciate not. it, just like cars, and that's fine. Right, you know, right. That's, fine. that's the thing is, it's it's just I look at a watch and I think I don't want to wear it, and therefore I don't really care about it. Mm -hmm. I I just appreciate <laughs> what goes into it and like the engineering, sure, the engineering, whatever. Into, that's interesting, yeah. but and, not enough yeah. to make me go like, ooh, that's, ah, I'm gonna spend a ton of money on it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I mean, I'd rather there's a lot of things I could think of to put ten thousand dollars into other than a, something that you put on your wrist. Yeah, I mean, when you're holding a ten thousand dollar ink canal exhaust and it's like this weighs about as much as this watch does. Yeah, it costs the same. And the ink canal exhaust is worth about half after you put exactly. it on the car. Exactly. Yeah, you get yeah, no money the, back out of the exhaust. But the, but the watch, what, it tells you time and yeah, you don't giggle every time you uh, look at the, or, or hear the watch. And, like I, start, but you're giggling. Yeah, I start my Too car. Shy. With the ink on glass, I go. God listen to it. Yeah, you can listen to the watch. You can listen to the watch. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Uh, I love uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing that thing again. What's that thing? <laughs> Nobody notices watches except for other watch guys. But it's watch. not about trying to impress other people or no. anything like yeah. that. The watch guys notice watch. And gold digging women. That's it. Well, that's just like car guys. Yeah, it's no different than a Ferrari. You had a rare, some rare cool car. Nobody's gonna care unless it's a car guy, right? Yeah. No, that that is completely inaccurate. Everyone notices nice. I completely am oblivious. That's no, that's not true. Because I wear a nice watch around and nobody notices. Nobody cares. No one. I like it that way, actually. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I. No, I. Good. <laughs> now, <let's do> <laughs> Is Dan's calling your bluff there? Yeah. <laughs> well, I like watches. Dan doesn't, so we have a nice little mix. There you go. So I should yin, make yin, the yin, like yang. anti-watch channel. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna make a watch channel then. Okay. We can, we can fight it out. <laughs> I'd be. I'd be. For every video, I'll tell you what, you create a channel, every time you do a video, I'll do a response video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Reactions. Yeah. My reaction to Josh on his watch. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. I'm not doing that. I know. I really <laughs> like, uh, no thanks. Uh, good stuff. <laughs> oh, lordy. <sighs> I should get into watches only because sometimes I feel left out when all you ge- people geek out about it. <laughs> but same you thing should. with whiskey. You guys get all into whiskey and I hate whiskey. Yeah. What do you like? Yeah. <laughs> Fine Italian wine and shitty beer. Yeah. Stay. And, yeah. and cars. Cars. Certain guns, cars. Right? I, some <laughs> guns. I'm not a big gun person, but, you know, I, guns are okay. I don't know. Yeah. I'll, I'll look, Good Alex. food. Good food. Dan likes a good meal. Yeah, he does. Good food. I'm a foodie. I can. I definitely can eat the crap out of some good stuff. What Rolex do you have? <laughs> Buy yeah, my Josh Rolex. Let's make, let's make a deal. <laughs> you could start flipping Rolex watches. and an Aventador for. I w- don't need much IWC, space for that. IWC is a good watch. I like IWC. I don't know anything about whatever. Inside waistband carry is that. Uh, it stands for international watch company okay it's <laughs> like a generic watch brand it, the name's not great but they make nice watches i mean like yacht master <laughs> uh, <laughs> Speak, have you sold the yacht speaking of dan yes nice Good. the mc20 MC is a big car it is. MC20 it is a per- weird car because it's, very it's weird. like it's the car no one asked for that Maserati just kind of yeeted onto the world but then it was like oh it looks so good but then it just fell so short you know like they tried so hard and just quite wasn't there like I don't know I just feel like they <sighs> you know what it reminds me of it's like the um what is it? The, the NSX, the new NSX. Like underwhelming. It just, it just <laughs> like it was like, wow, it looks great, and then just kind of underwhelmed you. You know, I think the same thing is about the uh, MC20. But oh well, shit. It's already nine thirty. All right. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go to bed and take some yeah, Nyquil yeah. and go into a quill haze and 
Pass out. Yeah. Feel better. Yeah. Dream about watches. Oh, dream about, dream watches. about watches. <laughs> if I have yes. a nightmare about watches, I'm going to be mad. At I'm going to send you some links for some birth year watches, Dan. Nah, do it. <laughs> yeah. Start pep, you know, seeding, planting seeds. That yeah. won't work. <laughs> Start sending to Meg. There you go. She I think would, she probably will even oh, hate him even more. Subscribe oh, and yeah. do a catalog. I'm sure. Her disdain for cars is nothing compared to her disdain for watches. <laughs> she doesn't even hardly have any jewelry. She really does not like watches. All right. Anyway, uh, thanks everyone for coming and listening to our bullshit. I love Once it. Again, we'll see you next week. Oh, I, I'm gonna apologize now. I don't have a video for tomorrow, so uh, deal with it. Oh. I'm I'm behind. I haven't edited anything. Yeah, we're just whatever. Videos will be out some point. See ya. Cool. <laughs> See ya. See ya. All right.